Hello, welcome to Leadership in Action, a series of short, timely, and relevant interviews with managing partners on issues important to running a successful mid-sized law firm. These podcasts are part of the Managing Partner Series presented by Thomson Reuters in affiliation with the Managing Partner Forum and are hosted by John Rumson, Jr., CEO of the Managing Partner Forum and President of the Rumson Group. Our guest this month is Jim Dressman, the Managing Partner of Dressman, Benzinger, Lavelle, based in Greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, with approximately 40 attorneys. Aside from firm management, Jim represents profit and nonprofit entities and individuals in financial transactions, business mergers, and real estate development. Welcome, Jim and John. Uh, Thank you, Colleen, very much for that introduction, and thank you, Jim, for joining us uh, today to talk about uh, marketing and and, uh, hiring uh, your first marketing director, uh, an important topic to many mid-sized firms that are getting serious about their marketing business development programs. Uh, Before we get started, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your firm, its history, uh, some of your strategic priorities as you look forward uh, to 2015 and beyond. Well, uh, thanks, John and Colleen. Um, I, the firm started, uh, or we, we, we take our roots back to 1955. It was a firm actually started uh, by my father and another lawyer by the name of Dunn and, and a third one by the name of Dieters. It was Dressman, Dunn, and Dieters. Um, I joined the firm in 1977. I was the fifth lawyer in the firm in, in 1977. Today we have approximately 40 lawyers in three offices. Uh, we are known as a premier firm in the greater Cincinnati area. We recently opened an office in Louisville. We're trying to grow our, our reputation there as well. We're known statewide in the Commonwealth of Kentucky as one of the top healthcare firms uh, in the state. So that brings me uh, brings us to today um, uh, and our discussion. And these are competitive times, of course. And uh, as you look forward, Jim, you've grown fairly steadily over the years. Do you anticipate Mm -hmm. further growth? Is that part of your uh, firm-wide strategic plan? Well, while we do, we're we're looking for modest growth. Um, uh, I think John helped us through our last strategic planning retreat just a, a, a couple, a month or so ago. And it was the consensus of my partners that we want to stay a mid-sized firm uh, with a limited geographic reach uh, to the regions we're in. So uh, that's another way of saying we're not looking for uh, an upstream merger into big law, uh, and we're not looking to grow outside of our current uh, geographic range other than uh, we do have some interest in moving into the Lexington market, which sort of completes the, uh, the the regional geography uh, that we're in right now. You know, growth is uh, often articulated in strategic plans of, of among mid-sized firms that have strategic plans, and, mm-hmm. and I think it's so important that it be thoughtful, client-driven, strategic, not just growing to, for the sake of growth. And I think it's great as well that you've got that vision among your partners, everybody on the same page, uh, as to where the entity's going and, and where you want to take the ship. Um, that everybody's uh, everybody's riding on. Um, coming to our topic here, which is that of, of how and when to hire your first marketing director. I know this is a decision your firm just made. Uh, I understand it was something that you uh, were were convinced was the time was right. Um, what what kind of prompted you to that realization? And then how did you sell your partners that? Uh, this would be a worthwhile and important investment. Right. Well, uh, thanks, John. Um, I I, uh, um, I need to, as background, talk about our firm culture and our firm structure. As as managing partner, I I basically do what I am told by my partners. So we we don't operate under an executive committee. So everything that I'd like to see done in our firm, or if anyone else wants to see done in our firm, we have to build consensus. Um, our, our interest in a marketing director actually goes back to 2003 when in the same year we lost two of our partners uh, to untimely deaths. Um, our competitors in the marketplace started spreading rumors that we were uh, basically going to fold, we were in disarray, etc. And we decided then and there that we needed to brand our firm as a firm 
not any individuals. So that is when we really embraced marketing, trying to build a brand in the marketplace and build a brand as a team of lawyers, not any individual lawyers. Um, we we uh, outsourced our efforts. We got some guidance, and we hired an outside marketing firm. So that's 2003. Moving forward, uh, we saw the, both saw the success of, of uh, our efforts with the outside marketing firm and internally as well. And also, as, as you alluded to earlier, the competition just keeps getting fiercer and fiercer. So, um, in our, but our firm kept growing right on through it. Uh, I have to say, uh, about two years ago, I noticed how much money we were spending, frankly, on the outside uh, uh, marketing firm. And I was also noticing how much unbillable time we were spending on lawyers' individual marketing efforts. And the third thing I noticed that a lot of our, our attorneys were not real focused with their marketing efforts because, frankly, this isn't what they they do. They're trained legal professionals, not marketing professionals. Uh, and some of the um, tasks were taken on by our office manager, but again, she was not trained as a marketer as well. So we so we had a little bit of a disjointed marketing effort uh, with a very expensive outsourcing component of it. Uh, I, I, I floated the idea about it, but then I went to one of John's managing partner forums and just learned a lot more about what a ma uh, marketing director can do for a firm, especially of our size, and in fact convinced me that we were years late in hiring our internal marketing director. Came back, convinced my partners, and uh, so we went about looking for that marketing director. Was it a hard sell to your partners, Not a, or did they uh, go along with it? Uh, it no, once I pointed out the things that I just mentioned, the non-billable hours, the expense of, of the person outside, and the fact, frankly, that our peers had marketing directors, that probably was the the the, uh, uh, the last straw was it made it easy. I had no resistance, a lot of uh, people nodding heads and agreeing, yeah, we, sh we should do this, so. It's amazing. I, you know, lawyers want to follow what other firms are doing. So I find exactly. that if you want to convince a group to, to go along with a new program, just highlight what other firms are doing, yeah. uh, the firms they respect and admire, and it seems to go a long way toward uh, getting them to buy in. And some interesting statistics um, in terms of the AMLAW 200. They're staffing their marketing departments at one in-house marketing professional for every 23 lawyers. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of these big white shoe firms don't want to admit that, but uh, they are very much putting marketing and business development into play. Right. Um, I encourage mid-sized firms. You know, you're looking at 20 lawyers or more, and you really are serious about your marketing business development program. There's some pretty strong arguments to create an in-house position uh, for all the reasons you cite. Um, you know, we got an outside PR firm. We're paying five, six, seven thousand dollars a month. Um, look at all the lawyer time going into this, and they really don't know what they're doing. And um, and focus and coordination, it, really important. I think those are a lot of the things that, you know that in-house marketer can can bring to the firm, uh, as you all have discovered. Absolutely. So, um, so that's we should have done it years ago, John. We should have done it years ago. We all <laughs> well, realize that. You know, that it's, it's never too late. Um, yeah. And it sounds like um, you've really got a great marketer and really assimilated her very nicely into your culture. Um, talk to us about how you went about uh, defining the position, recruiting for that position, and then making sure the person you hired really got off to a great start. Well, John, it worked out that uh, I, I sent an email to my partners basically with those questions. Does anyone know anybody in this world that can help us look for a marketing director? And my partner in Louisville uh, knew a person who was the marketing director at a, a, a firm slightly larger than ours in Louisville, uh, and, but she went out and set up her own independent um uh, law firm, marketing, consulting firm, contacted her, asked her to put together a job description for us, 
she worked with us uh, and starting with a very long document of job description and then edited that down to something that could be posted as an ad. She handled posting it in all the right places, and that's where I had learned about the Legal uh, Marketing Association. I think that's the, the correct that is, name. That's correct, and they run a job bank. Uh, yeah, and she uh, got us in there, and lo and behold, we probably had 20-plus applications hit our mailbox. Um, we uh, we whittled it down to five maybe, or I should say our consultant whittled it down to five or six that she thought was uh, was worth interviewing. Mm -hmm. um, we had a small committee of three interview them, narrowed it down to two in which we invited our partners who want, who had an interest to interview them as well on a second go around, and we uh, uniformly selected the uh, candidate we ultimately hired. It really was uh, a lucky break for us. So she's uh, been on board now for about six months, uh, hit the ground running. Um, she knows our world. She knows about personal marketing plans for each attorney and how to drive them. She knows about how to line up outside marketing opportunities, and she knows uh, what a website should look like and what it shouldn't look like. She knows about blogging and all the things that we were uh, had our fingers in but without any real focus. So uh, she has been, uh, I should say, she has ex exceeded our expectations. As you went about this, process, Jim, was a law firm experience a requirement? Was it something that you looked at as highly desirable? Um, it, it was definitely it was highly desirable. It was, it was a preferred uh, element or criteria, but it wasn't, uh, you know, we, it wasn't an absolute. We thought that would be very helpful, uh, especially since we weren't going to be real good teachers <laughs> of what to do and what not to do, and we were trying to reduce our reliance on the outside firm. And to whom does your marketing director report? Um, we have uh, – she reports uh, directly to me and to our uh, – my partner who is – uh, in charge of what we call our marketing committee. A couple of things I like what you did. That job description, really important. You made it a very inclusive process, it sounds like, getting a lot of your people involved and bought into the decision, right. uh, helping select that person. So it's a real firm building kind of exercise. I think the reporting relationship to you as managing partner is important, uh, mm -hmm. particularly with a first-time marketer. Um, you got a lot of partners with with uh, with some good ideas and some not so good ideas. Somebody has to sort of keep the marketer focused on the firm wide priorities because it's easy to run around trying to make all these partners happy and spreading thin and uh, making nobody happy because yep. you're, you're trying to take on too much. So um, uh, sounds like you did a great job, sort of setting the table, educating your partners, and then getting that right person in there. Let me ask you this as we close out here, uh, and we often will close out these, these podcasts with this question. Uh, what advice might you dispense to a managing partner who, uh, who, who, is, who believes his or her firm's ready for the marketer, having trouble convincing the partners? Um, any advice you might offer having recently been through this experience? I think that it it's not any more marketing is not just essential for growth. Marketing is essential for your survival. And uh, the, the firms who don't embrace marketing will not be here five or ten years from now. Um, all good stuff. And, Jim, w thank you so much for your time today uh, well, and your willingness to share. And um, we really do appreciate it. And, well, thank uh, you, John. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention again that uh, you're managing – uh, partner forum that I went to last year is what really motivated me to make this happen. So I give you credit for that. Well, thank you. I hope you'll come again this year, <laughs> and I hope uh, those listening uh, might consider coming to one of our conferences. It's uh, you know we try to create a place where managing partners can find community, find resources to be uh, more effective in, in a very challenging world. Right. So uh, glad you came. Hope to hope yep. you'll come again. And uh, Colleen, uh, why don't uh, you take us out? Thank you for joining us for this edition of Managing Partners Series, Leadership in Action. For more information and resources, visit LegalSolutions.com backslash Managing Partners.